it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here, and today we are back on my map, uh, Will Brothers Farms. I'm gonna do a little bit of an update and just gonna kinda play around for a little while. Uh, so we'll start off, I have changed the grass texture, as you guys can see, um, to a much nicer one. I found this on Mod Hoster, and it just come out not recent, not, not too long ago. Uh, so here I just planted uh, one side of field 8 uh, with corn. Uh, I've been doing some testing here. Uh, I've been fixing the road because uh, there's a lot of spots where the terrain doesn't actually go all the way up to um, the, you know, the road itself. Like you can kind of see a little space along there. So... Uh, I've been, you know, I fixed it in Giants Editor and then came in game to just kind of check it over and make sure that there weren't spots that, you know, I couldn't really see in Giants Editor that I missed. Um, and then uh, I got a couple more fields done. I got these two fields added, which I don't think were in the last update. Or maybe they were, I don't remember. But um, I got that field over there, which is field 9, I believe. I don't have it updated on the PDA yet. Yeah, so 8 and 9 I've added recently. Uh, 9 is actually the field that's right by the main farm. So the farm will be over there. So if we tab to our truck here. Uh, we have it sitting here. <clears throat> at the dealership. Um, I just bought some equipment to harvest. Uh, we bought a nine New Holland CR990 and a 12-row corn header. And we're getting that thing ready to roll. And then in here we have a Kinsey 1300 hooked to a 9560RT. And then we have a Freightliner FLD120 hooked to a Wilson uh, hopper trailer. So we're going to close that door. Uh, the dealership was just working on our equipment. Uh... Are getting it ready. So we're gonna go ahead and take the combine to the field. We need to turn all of our hazards and stuff on. And we will go ahead and drive over to the field. We'll get our pickup to follow us. That way we have a way back. Hmm. Now that I started recording, I keep getting a lot of lag spikes. I don't know what the deal is. What the heck is this? Oh, that's right. That's the little... Kind of... Like a... Like a hole to take your... To pump out your toilets. Or something. Okay, there we go. Right. And we need to turn our hazard and stuff back on. Turn the thing off so I can get a nice screenshot. And then we'll go back in cap. So yeah, I haven't uh, done all that much, but uh, I figured I'd make a little video. Uh, just to have something to, something to upload. Um, Tomorrow's, th it's Wednesday, so I guess I'll upload this for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try and get back into my schedule. Um, I have finished three out of my four GED tests. I was supposed to take one today, but I got there to go take it, and evidently they haven't been testing last week. They're not going to test this week or next week, so I have to wait like two weeks to take my test. Uh, my last one, which really, really sucks, but... Um, there is another place that I can, that has GED testing, so I'm going to see about getting in there maybe this upcoming week or something, but hopefully I'll be able to do that, uh, so I can be done. And then, uh, in June, well, it's June, I guess, but towards the end of June here, um, I'll be working some, 
at a fireworks stand until the 5th of July, but that's only in like the afternoon, so I'll still be able to keep up my schedule. Alright. We'll take a left here, and then we have to take a left up at this stop sign as well. Uh, I do plan to add traffic to the map. That's going to be a future uh, item that I add. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this guy's course place set up. Um, we're going to start in the northeast and head west. I'll do two headlands. There we go. Alright, and we'll shut that guy off. And then we'll take our pickup and go get our green cart. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys here. Uh, I've been working on a new trailer uh, that I've been working on for a little while, actually. But uh, it's a Meridian 990. It's a 2016 Meridian 990 Max. Um, the only part is this section here. I can't get to show up. Uh, LMB Farmer said he was going to take a look at it and see if we can figure it out uh, but I haven't heard back from him yet uh, but I need to get that fixed and then I'm g there's some more stuff in blender I need to do I need to add my model watermark to it and then I need to edge split the model uh, so it's not quite so rough such rough edges uh, and then I need to make decals for it yet as well which those I'll be doing in Photoshop or Paint.net, whichever, uh, by just opening the AO texture for uh, the pieces that I need to add d different decals to, and then just figuring out which piece is where. So then I know, okay, right here I need to put, you know, the Meridian logo or whatever, um, and then just add them on that way rather than having to use add strips and stuff. Uh, so I'll see how that works, I guess. But, okay, let's get this guy rolling. Nope. Alright, so that's ready. Let's get our follow me going again. And then we'll come back and get our semi. And then we can grow our crops. And we'll turn on our beacon, and our hazards. But yeah, one thing I am going to attempt to do with the traffic on here is try and make it like realistic vehicles and not just the crappy in-game giants stuff. Um, I don't know how, how it's going to work. I know you can do it in 13, but I'm not sure how. You know, like you can add packs. Like, you can download things for it, but I don't know how it would work, so we'll have to see. Um, I'm not entirely sure of how that would work. So, uh, it's something that I'm hoping to do. I'm not sure if I'll be actually, a actually be able to do it. Ugh, can't talk right. But, we'll see. It'll be kind of cool if I can. Yeah, this is actually the first time I'm harvesting. Um, I've planted crops before to, you know, just check them out. Uh, I planted with the starting equipment, um, but I've never actually, like, done a harvest or anything. Um, all I did with them was just plant them. I planted each crop that, you know, each standard crop, because that's all that's on here at the moment. But uh planted each standard crop and then... I just, uh, <clears throat> um, 
grew them and just quit, really. So, uh, you know, I didn't harvest them to make sure, you know, you could and all that stuff. I just kind of planted them and left them. Uh, so this is actually the first harvest that I'm doing on here. Excuse me. Uh, but, yeah. So then we'll also be testing the, uh, trigger at the, um, at the, oh jeez, at the elevator. I can't think straight either, I guess. So, uh, yeah, you guys probably, I think I did, said this in another video, but all my doors are working right now, um, but I don't actually have the door trigger script, uh, added to the map, so it's kind of actually strange that it's working, but I am going to add the script, you know, even though they are working without it, because I don't know if my, you know, if doors that I make for my the buildings that i have to make i don't know if those are going to you know if that's going to affect that or not and you know it'll just be nicer to have the script added in so we'll close the door at the uh, dealership here and then we will hop in our truck again and get follow me mod set up yet again so yeah this is uh, how I'm going to be playing this map most of the time uh, in cab view and with the HUD shut off and, you know, using Follow Me Mod to bring pickups along so I don't have to tab and all that. Walk into equipment. Uh, you know, like when I first start a game, I'll tab through stuff so that way I can get, you know, all the cameras set up in first person. And then if a tractor has selectable duels, then, you know, I'll have to reselect the duels and all that stuff. But otherwise it'll be walking along and all that kind of stuff. Uh... Uh, it's nice to have, you know, a solid 60. Uh, when I record, though, I, it's not always solid 60. I get a lot of lag for whatever reason. Um, which I think it's I think it's just my OBS settings. I need to adjust them some more. But uh, we'll see. I'll do some messing around with it and see what I can do. Um, because, you know, when I play... <clears throat> well, not recording, it's, I stay up at 60, and, you know, it's solid there, which is really nice, uh, but, you know, a lot of my objects are good quality, because they are giant's objects, so, oops, wrong button. There we go. And to unroll the tarp. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> I meant to hit control and I hit the Windows button. Alright, so we'll take a screenshot here of the harvest crew. I have to go a little ways over here. Alright, so now we will turn on our plant growth to fast, and then we will fast forward time through the night, and you can see all of our street lamps. I'm not going to move uh, my camera angle, because I want to leave it uh, here for when, when the uh, corn is grown. Uh, I still haven't changed the corn textures yet, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that until, 
when uh, I'll take another screenshot there. There we go. Until um, I'm not gonna worry about it until 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 until. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm not gonna worry about it until the map is more or less complete. Uh, then I'll go through and add, you know, change textures. Uh, so where is my starting point going to be is what I wonder. I'll pop up on this road here for a little bit, I guess. It's probably going to be a little ways down here because of the uh, two headlands. Oh, great demand for sugar beets. I need to remove that because I don't want sugar beets to be sold at the elevator. Oh, there it is. On the opposite side. Okay, we'll just cut a little path through here, I guess. See, I don't know what's up with the ground as to why it's, like, changing from the normal seeded texture to black, brown, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what is causing that. It started after I added my DEM Real Terrain uh, info in, so I don't know if that's got something to do with it or not. But... That's what I'm putting the blame on at the moment. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. I want you to drive the course. Not drive the circles. Alright, so we'll activate that. And we'll run over here and we'll get a nice picture. Alright, and then we'll run on over to our grain cart. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna do, oh yeah, and I also, um, if you guys remember, there was a road down over there that gravel road there uh, if you guys remember from previous videos uh, it was way too large and I have now fixed that issue uh, I scaled it down along with a couple other roads I had to scale down and then I also had to add a couple add added in more section line um, down there I extended that because there's gonna be two more fields down there uh, in that direction uh, actually four more but two will be accessed from that uh, little section line and then the other two will be accessed from a different spot so I need to get my cruise set and we'll head on over and uh, <clears throat> service our combine So yeah, um, this section that it's planted and that section over there are the same field. They're just separated by a little waterway. So, you know, they're both the same field. I just chose to plant half of it for the time. Oh man, my time scale is up. Oh well, it'll make some nice uh, evening shots, I guess. Whoa, I'm driving on the corn. Close the hood. So we got some nice uh, little rolling hills here, which are kind of neat. So 
So I'm going to go out of cab here to make it around this corner. Make sure I can see. I think I'm actually going a little too fast for the combine there. I think the uh, bumpiness is kind of slowing them down a little bit. Yeah, I really like this new grass texture. Uh, it's a lot nicer. Uh, the other one was nice, but it was just, it was so short, you know, kind of down to, kind of low to the ground, and I didn't really like that. So, uh, I just changed it to this one. Uh, it did come with different um, ground texture for grass, as well as different, uh, um, windrow you know like the cut grass textures uh for the windrows and stuff but i didn't really like it it was a little too bright and a little too big uh for me so uh, i'm gonna find something different eventually but as i said same with the corn texture you know i'm gonna change the corn the wheat the barley the canola um, all of them are gonna have uh much different textures you know the corn here is going to have like a realistic corn texture uh, and then realistic height of the you know the stock because uh, what it is now is pretty much down to the ground which is not at all realistic right here you know it's realistic if you're chopping but not if you're combining it so we'll ride along with our combine here for a little while So as you can see, all of the fields have nice rounded edges, which are nice for course play. Uh, and that's how all of our fields are here as well. Uh, you know, just looking at them in Google Earth, as well as seeing them in real life. Uh, you know, they're all pretty rounded on the end, so... So yeah, I'll be adding chop straw to the map as well very soon, uh, as well as soil mod. I hope to get those two things added soon. Uh, at the moment, I've been working on adding in all the fields. Uh, I still got quite a lot of fields left to add. Uh, there's four more um, between the edges of... Um, you know where that section line is there's two more field four more fields between that and the gravel road over there and there's a bunch of fields over there a bunch of fields over there you know just a lot of fields left to add in and then once those are done i can start adding in the farms like the one uh over there there's one over there there's a bunch few farms on here uh, i'm also going to start adding trees as well soon uh there's a tree row uh there's some trees in that spot some trees in that little line there there's also rock piles that i need to add uh so i'm gonna have to figure out something for the rock piles uh in terms of how to do them <clears throat> so that they actually look realistic uh and i'm actually getting pretty close to a half an hour so So yeah, um, I think I'm getting pretty close to 1,400 subscribers, which is really cool. Uh, definitely, channel's definitely growing a lot. A lot more than I had ever thought it would. Uh, which, you know, is really, really cool. Uh, I'm still not as big as other channels, which is fine by me. Uh, you know, like I, uh, Ian Robson and... Other channels, they're larger, which is quite fine by me. Uh, I started the channel thinking, you know, if I get a hundred, I'll be set. But now I'm a thousand, um, fourteen hundred, really. 
And we are on the way to 2,000. So we will uh, get ready to run up here with the combine. We'll turn on the GPS. Uh, just to make it a little easier. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really liking the sky texture. Uh, it came from FS13. Uh, a friend of mine had sent me the link for it a long time ago. Uh, and then I just went and dug it up here recently and decided to use it on this map. So, what the world? Oh, I have a pipe camera on here. Oh, what the world? Okay, um, I need to shift this over some. Let's move it over a little more. Oh, dang it. I was just getting ready to take a picture. Oh, the combine's empty. There we go. I caught it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll turn our lines back on now. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna call it an end here. Uh, for this video and I'm gonna do this corn harvest here. Uh, I'll have lots of pictures coming up uh, on my Facebook page of You know from this harvest and from seeding and I'll also have uh, pictures coming up on my Instagram of Some haywire screenshots that are from a while ago some uh, a taste of Donegal screenshots, I've been playing on that map a little bit and then also some screenshots from the new multiplayer server of mine. Uh, we moved to the new Oklahoma map. So that's quite the change for us from Lost Hills. So uh, yeah guys, I'm going to call her quits for this video. And like I said, I'm going to try and get back into my schedule more. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to record video wise yet. Um, but... I will definitely be recording something. You know, here's a start. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels to check out. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And to see future videos, make sure that you turn on the post notifications to be notified of whenever I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next.